Hi everyone, LazyFire here. Welcome back to Fear 2 Project Origin. Last time we drove a powered armor, and uh, now we're back on the streets of Fear. A little bit of sun. Nice. Damn it, we still can't find a way through. There's too much rubble. We must be getting close to the epicenter of the explosion. Let's just clear the street of those things, the degenerate ghosts. Uh, honestly, I don't know if these guys will attack me if I get close. I always just shoot them anyways. Doesn't really feel like it's a good thing to, you know, take that risk with uh, enemies this late in the game. And I should note that it is actually pretty late in the game for us. Uh, it may not feel it, but this is actually a fairly long game. By now, we're about, you know, six intervals in, but most of those intervals are about half an hour or so, to an hour, and uh, that puts us pretty far into a game that, you know, most modern shooters hate, Keegan, are not this long. Let's go talk to Keegan. Let's not talk to Keegan. This is the epicenter. This is where things happened. Once again, the distance rendering. No problem. Just, wow. The scale is really impressive, even if the distance rendering isn't great. But this is actually one of my favorite little areas of the game. Just the way the monolith played with the destruction of this area, and how you get through it, is really, really neat. And it's brief, but it's one of those flashes of genius that the game has. Chemical coding. See, like the freeway here. We're inside of the house. I just really like it. It's kind of cool, and if you didn't know what you're looking at, it could be difficult to kind of discern what's going on with your bearings here. Um, I'm getting weird lag on my inputs. I'm trying to jump up here. I'm not supposed to jump up there, but I figured I'd try it. Anyway. It's very silent, it doesn't call your attention to it, but it still happens, and it's one of those things if you notice it, it's kind of cool. Keegan's still out here. Jesus Christ, if you've been able to teleport this entire time, how'd you get fucking shot? And it looks like we found something down here. The next interval. This is the Armacham tunnel that we were looking for. Armacham. I keep calling it Armacham. It's Armacham, but whatever. And we're back in one of these areas. Like I said in the thread and in the previous videos, the reliance on these kind of industrial areas throughout the game is... I mean, I can't fault anyone for using them. And, I mean, this looks really nice, even for when this game was released. Even now, if you looked at, you know, screenshots of an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, you know, some PC games, they would show something like this room with the light sources and everything. And turn on the light. It doesn't look as impressive, but turn it off, and it looks really neat. It looks really cool in here. Uh, this is one of those impressive things the engine this game uses does. It just has some really impressive lighting, really impressive effects. And so it's one of those cool things. Uh, but, yeah, it's... Another one of these giant industrial things. Yeah. This place is falling apart fast, though. Turbine here. Spinning, probably providing all the power to this facility. Huh. So... We don't have a lot of options in where we go here. A lot of this facility is falling apart still. So let's make a 
make our way across here and do what we can to get down there. This is actually not a required area. If I really wanted the laser, I could do it. But honestly, god damn it. I'm gonna take forever to get used to what the stupid thing did to me here. Uh, but yeah, the power armor switching your weapon uh, loadout is very annoying. I don't really want to get rid of any of my current weapons. That sniper rifle is goddamn useful. It one shot kill on people, uh, even if it's not a headshot, but headshots are quite easy to get. Hmm. No clone soldier in there. And that's our first un- Ooh. These are our first unmasked clone soldiers. All the guys we've seen so far have had, you know, some sort of helmet on. Whether it's part of their armor suit or if it's, you know, a, a helmet of any nature. These guys do not have those helmets. Uh, if I would stop headshotting people, I could show you what those look like. Uh, but it's worth noting, this is the only time in the game you're going to see these guys without helmets on. Let's see if we can activate any of these. Nope. So this is most likely one of the areas where they hold these guys before they're, uh, for lack of a better term, assembled. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to break some mystique here. This is a pretty hard area of the game. This is probably the hardest area of the game, as a matter of fact, to do correctly and to do well overall. So, I'm going to be a little bitch about it, and I'm going to toss down a couple of proximity mines in advance and expectation of future fighting. This is just a really cool thing, this, this uh, coupling here is going to be rotating this train over and over again into different positions, and uh, there's another one on the other side that's going to be doing something similar, but you can see they use different center rails. Okay. Yeah, we gotta lock out that override. These guys are holding on to us. This is a really cool fight. I'm not going to deny that. As a matter of fact, I think it's one of the better fights in the entire game in terms of set piece fights and everything like that. But at the same time, uh, it's very, very difficult. There's a couple different reasons for that fact. Uh, one is timing based. There are going to be sections where you have to do things within a certain time limit or you're fucked. There's Parts of it that are just going to be absolutely brutal. You're not going to be able to survive long enough in some cases, uh, even at full health and full armor, to get through everything perfectly. It's just going to be difficult at times. So, luckily the AI bugged out right there. So. And we can see that they're already on this train. That's why those... That's difficult to see through. But that's why those proximity mines are so important. Put these guys on the other side and uh, just be able to use the mines to kind of keep them from sneaking up behind you. I've been shooting so many guys on the other side, I am in danger of running perilous perilously, I was going to say perilous, but perilously low on ammo. And right there is why I never use the secondary fire function on this thing. You can just tap fire one bullet out. Not really a point to do it the other way. Okay. Well, we've taken some damage. So, what are you supposed to do with the obstruction? can't really do much. It just tells you there's going to be a collision. Yep. That's it. You start thinking that you need to do certain things, and there are points where you do need to do things. You need 
to jump across these things, you need to go to one section or be in one area over another area. And uh, yeah, it's not always obvious what the course of action you need to take is. And that can sound like it's a bit whiny, and honestly I do sound a bit whiny about that, because it is very annoying the first time you run into it. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, just common sense stuff, well, that, that's what happens when you run out of sprint. Explosion that comes out of the shotgun aim down sights when you're firing in slow motion. It's pretty goddamn intense. And right here, I am just getting pelted from all sides. Alright, this seems like a good time to try it. Yeah, you can stick it to these guys, and they do have a custom animation for it. Neat. That guy got a little bloody. But they do have very generic faces, if you're wondering what they look like. I'll try to find a case where you can see them up close, where I haven't shot them in the head a couple times, but it might be increasingly difficult to do. We're going to take a risk here and use a health pack this one. You know, one of the things that somebody who knows this game better than me, maybe, could point out is if you lose any accuracy while you're moving forward and shooting. Where is this guy? Ah. Let me do this before I die. Oh, we got out of the forward car. Still getting shot in the back quite a bit. So yeah, one of the things you're going to notice here is that we're actually on the car that these guys were all like coming from a second ago. that you get on this thing is so bad that I can't always really remember that fact. Alright, let's get rid of the rear car, shall we? Think about what would have to happen to do this to what this thing is, it's probably all steel, is intense. The fact that a human body survived that is kind of impressive. But, hey, that's enough about this thing. Looks like we're in yet another facility of some nature. There's Keegan, having a good time on the railing. Yeah, uh, if you had to guess, following Keegan around is going to kind of be the rest of the game at this point. He's going to keep doing this little teleportation thing, and it's going to be what it is. He's going to be sort of our spirit guide through the rest of the levels of the game. Except for when there's combat. When there's combat, he is suspiciously absent. Let's 
get ready for a fight, because I feel like there's one coming on. It's been a couple seconds since our last one. Ah. Hello, friend. Uh-oh. This is bad. This is really bad. Ah, he dropped the health pickup. Neat. I didn't know if those guys did that, as a matter of fact. Usually I kill these guys in, without them even getting anywhere near me. And, uh, there's Q. Oh, no, no, no. If you let these guys get too far out of your range, or from where you can see, it can be a real problem. So, don't do that. What is over here? I'm actually asking that question seriously. I don't recall going through this section before. Yeah, I have all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Yep. Just a time waster. <laughs> Get off the ceiling. You look like you up there. So, once again, I'm gonna call on the people of the thread who know these things better than I could. What the hell are those supposed to be? I mean, I get that they're supposed to be, you know, stealth killing things, but uh, at the same time, I don't understand if those are psychic commanders that have had some work done, or what's going on. Okay, well... Looks like that's not really the way forward for us. Let's keep going the way Keegan was going. I was kind of hoping there'd be something cool on those pipes, but no luck. Hi, friends. We're in a very quiet area of the game. Is that blood? Or is that just rust? But... Oof. Okay. Here's the hard question. Do I drop the sniper rifle to pick up the pulse weapon again? We haven't seen a ton of the pulse weapon, so I'm pretty inclined to do that. Fuck it. Yeah, we're gonna ball. There's Keegan. Keegan's having a grand old time over there. So, there's a couple things you can do down here real quick. One is getting over to... Damn it. Getting over to that ladder. I mean, you, you can do it a couple different ways. It's not utterly necessary to do it. But what I'm doing right now is uh, more or less baiting out any of the enemies that may be in the area. And hoping to, anyways. There's uh, generally pickups here for slow-mo, but sometimes you get attacked by people, and I just want to make sure that I have as few of those issues as possible. Alright, let's go out of that area. That ladder is only really accessible from that platform. Let's go back up. But, real quick, I didn't want to climb another ladder. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I didn't want the laser back, so... That was kind of a pointless run over there. Alright. There you are, son of a bitch. Corralling these guys into an area where they can't do all their fucking flips and shit is actually kind of... Huh. That was a very lucky slide kick right there. 
I thought I was gonna just lose like a quarter of my health right off the bat on that one. There we go. Let's get up here real quick. Uh, generally, I believe there's a. Shit. Speed booster up there. Damn it, is there another one of these motherfuckers? Yep, there he is. You can see what kind of trouble these guys can be for you if you don't have slow mo. There's Keegan in front of a white light. This is really the last section you're going to see these guys in, though. They explicitly disappear after this. But, much as I was doing before, goading these guys into attacking me before they, uh... Shit! No. I hate this. The fact that they do feel the need to sort of spawn in behind you or in places you might not be looking for any specific reason can make those guys kind of an ass to deal with, but no, don't need to go down here. Just being thorough, trying to hit any triggers that might be around on these guys. And one more time, pistol. Try to pick up that shock grenade. So, just like with the last one, you come down here, activate, run up as fast as you can. Now, a really fun thing about this section of the game is that at the top of this lift, there is occasionally an asshole. And my first time uh, playing through this section in my test room, there was a guy up here, and I tried to slide kick him. And I missed the, or I hit the slide kick, but it was actually right in this spot here. That guy. So that guy just obstructed our view of Keegan leaving. Uh, but I slide kicked him, and I ended up falling right off the platform because of that. They've got some range on that attack. Alright, let's get through this white light before they can get us. Whoa. Keegan got mad. Health kit. Not doing anything for us. Okay. Well, looks like there's nothing else for us here. Pop down. I can hear trundling. Fuck you. I could hear the movement, but I didn't see anything. That's why I don't like those guys. Perfect. Just saying. Okay. So, we're gonna open this door. We're going to try to get the pulse rifle out here. We're gonna stay right here for a moment. We're gonna get through this section and we're gonna finish the video. But, yeah, that's a weird optical illusion, isn't it? I thought it was a elevator at first, too, but it's a door. This is probably the second part of section of the game. Hmm. Okay. Well. And the pulse rifle just disappeared. It actually says that I acquired the pulse rifle, but I don't have it in my inventory. Very strange. This game does weird things, don't you think? 
Anyways, by firing that first round, we start a pretty fun fight. It's intense, too. Wow, I almost didn't see that guy. There's no uh, bullet travel time. This is basically a hit scan game. So don't lead your targets. Doesn't look like there's any more snipers. You have to be very careful. You don't want to turn a corner and have like six of these guys ambushing you, you know? More sniper ammo, perfect. You see that? I just saw another line. this one. If you can get the light on you, and then you can usually find them up here. Let's hope there's not one Okay. Well, we have our orders. I just don't want to get sniped in the back. Those things hurt like hell. I don't know if I've been shot in any of the previous videos with the sniper rifle, but it can take off half your armor in one shot, so I am being very cautious here. Snipers are... I mean, this is only, what, the third time in the entire game we've seen them? And we're almost through the game? Uh, <laughs> they're not a common enemy. Oh, shit. Hey. My old anti-sniper tool, the missile launcher, is back. Goodness. Uh -oh. Alright, we're just gonna chill here for a moment. Clear out everyone we can. This can be a tricky situation. Oh, and by the way, this door is barricaded. And right there, I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. I was dancing, uh, tr missing shots inches away from a barrel. Ooh. That's gotta be a record. Alright. So, let's bring out the hammerhead. Look how much hammerhead ammo I have right now. Nothing. Okay. If you say so, game. And all the sniper ammo in the world. This is going real well. Of the conventional weapons, the sniper rifle is really one of my favorites for whatever reason. Like I've said before, I am terrible at sniping other video games. But for whatever reason, in this game, I'm pretty good at it. Probably because of the slow motion, to be honest. Beckett. Okay, so now these guys have woken up. I'm in a pretty undefended area up here, to be honest. Let's pop these guys. Now, one of the things about slow motion is that you move faster while you're in slow motion than uh, these guys do. So, one of the things you can use slow motion for that I actually kind of like it for, is cycling the bolt faster, technically. I mean, it takes long, just about as long as anything else, but... Nope. It's... One of those little things you can use it for. You can see that guy and the guy bef uh, before him took pretty decent damage with a sniper rifle to kill. Okay, this is quickly becoming, becoming untenable. And if you hit the weapon swap buttons while you were... Okay. If you hit the weapon swap buttons while you're going up or down a ladder, your guy will automatically change to that weapon when he gets up or down that ladder. Man, those guys... 
there's a lot of fire down there. Like I said, let's switch over here. If you recall, there is some armor down this way. I kind of want that. This can be a gauntlet. My view of difficulty of this game is actually kind of changing very quickly based on uh, my experience of this playthrough versus my test run, where this section actually did take me a couple times to get it right. The game is a little sneaky about some things. For example, it will drop completely random uh, enemy layouts at you sometimes. So, in this area, the snipers are all set. I mean, these guys leaving their little bunker or whatever they were in is all set up beforehand, but uh, the way they disperse afterwards and where they go and what they do is all a little random. And that can kind of set you off. And I got really lucky here. Most of these guys showed up with shotguns and only a few with assault rifles. So I was able to kind of handle that for the most part pretty easily. Usually you can't stay up there very long because almost everyone who comes out has an assault rifle. And they crowd over there near that first ladder, near where the armor is right there. And because of that, you kind of go down there with a shotgun and you try to clear them out. It doesn't always work. But that'll be it for this episode. Like I said, once we finish the fight, we'd be done with it. I will see everyone next time.